YouTube, what's going on? Roger here with QVO Tactical. In today's video, we are revisiting a platform we have really come to like in the recent months. Um, you might remember our previous video on their 4570 model. However, today we are going to be taking a look at the Henry Lever Action Big Boy X model chambered in 357. Now, as always, I like to tell you guys how I go about getting these products in for review. Um, as I stated previously, we have produced a video on the Henry 4570 lever action. Definitely go check that out if you haven't already. Um, the feedback on that video was really good. So we reached out to Henry in order to see if they wanted to partner up on another video, but now in 357. They liked our idea for the video and sent us this big boy X model free of charge for us to use in the video and for future content. Additionally, you know we had to build this lever action up with the awesome modern furniture from the guys over at Ranger Point Precision. Um, we out to them as well and they were kind enough to send us their new furniture with the Magpul FDE Cerakote finish. Lastly, our friends over at Primary Arms sent us their Prism Optic with the ACSS reticle. You guys all know this is our favorite. Um, big shout out to all companies involved as we appreciate their support. Working with companies like Henry Rifles, Ranger Point Precision, and Primary Arms um, allows us to make these videos which are really fun for us. So thanks guys, we really appreciate it. Okay, with that out of the way, let's get into the specs of this Henry Big Boy X model and how we have it configured with the Ranger Point Precision furniture. The Henry Big Boy X Model 357 is a high performance, feature rich lever action rifle. It features a carbine length barrel with a highly visible fiber optic front sight and a threaded muzzle end that allows you to use a suppressor of your choosing. The gun utilizes a seven round removable tube magazine as well as a side loading gate, which will allow you to top off the magazine so you don't have to remove the tube or your suppressor. The barrel is blued steel with a one in 16 twist. The gun has an overall length of just over 36 inches. And lastly, the rifle will come drilled and tap so that you can mount a scope or accessory rail of your choice. Now, in regards to the furniture, we will start at the rear with the Ranger Point Precision M-Lock adjustable butt pad and the grip. Um, this is Cerakoted in that new awesome Magpul FPE color, so it's gonna match all your Magpul stuff to the T. Uh, next, we have their awesome M-Lock handguard, which allows you to have a more modern look to your lever action, as well as being able to install accessory rails and lights, something that you will see here later on in this video. We were also utilizing the 357 eight round quivers, which allow us to perform combat loads while out on the range. Again, something you're gonna see here very shortly. Now, we were also running the primary arms prism optic with an American Defense QD mount. Um, this in conjunction with the Ranger Point Precision cheek riser gives us a really good sight alignment when firing the gun. Okay guys, with the specs out of the way, let's get into what you guys all came here to see, the range footage. Um, as always, we like to record our first rounds through the gun, so here is that footage now. All right guys, the day is finally here, out on the range with our 357 lever action from Henry Rifles, all decked out with the awesome furniture from Ranger Point Precision. Uh, for this range trip though, our first rounds, we're gonna do something a little different. Uh, we're all gonna run some 357, try it out, see what our thoughts are. Then we'll run some 38s, and then we're gonna throw on these uh, CGS group cans, the uh, Mod 9 and the Mod 9 SK and see how the uh, gun sounds with uh, these two cans, the uh, short and the long configuration. But without further ado, like I said, day's finally here. Let's get to shooting. So I'm gonna fire three to four rounds and then have uh, Jade and John try it out. Here we go. Oh my God, dude, that's nothing. I know I said I was gonna do three to four, but I did all eight. Um, yeah, that's awesome. Uh, honestly, when you guys shoot it, Jade, when you shoot it, it feels like a 22 to me. I was very surprised. Uh, we shot the three or the uh, 4570 last time, and I knew it was gonna be like some oomph, but it was a little more oomph than I was used to. And then with this, uh, a lot less than what I thought it was gonna be. So let's have Jade hop up here. She'll try it out now, and then uh, we'll do the other stuff I talked about. All right, we got Jade up now. She's gonna get her first rounds in with the Henry 357 uh, Big Boy X model. Go for it. What are your thoughts? Yeah, um, like you mentioned, it, I thought it was gonna be a little bit more bang, but it's pretty nice and smooth. Uh, it's enjoyable, it's fun. I like it. 
All right, we got John up now, getting his first rounds with the uh, Henry 357 Big Boy X model. Go for it. zero kick on this thing you're right it's like it's like shooting a 22 that's pretty sweet all right guys like we said before now we're going to run some 38 specials uh, 125 grain and uh, see how it does here we go <laughs> man okay so i didn't think it would get any uh less recoil but yeah so the 38 specials is definitely even more soft uh than the 357 so i'll have uh, jade and john try it out as well and then uh, we're gonna have some fun suppressing this stuff all right we got jade up now running the uh, 38 specials give it a roll Like you said, um, got softer. So overall, it's really good. I'm excited to see how it is with the, the suppressors, so. Nice. All right, John's gonna give it a whirl. 38 specials, go for it, bud. Very nice. Yeah, that's super soft. That's fun to shoot. All right, guys, now I got the uh, CGS Group Mod 9 SK suppressor attached. Um, in addition to that, I'm gonna be running the first three rounds are gonna be 357, and then the second set of three are gonna be the uh, 38 specials. So let's see the, uh, the difference in the sound signature. Here we go. 357s. And now the 38s. Okay, I noticed a slight difference. Uh, wasn't like gnarly for me, and that also could be because it's with a K can. So we'll try it with the full size here in a second. Uh, but obviously, both are very quiet, um, being 357 and 38. Uh, I did like that with the short configuration. Um, to me, I bet you I could pull my ears and it'd still be fine, which I'm probably going to do here in a little bit. But I'm going to have a uh, Jaden John try it out with the K can first, and then uh, we'll do the uh, the larger full size can. All right, Jade, go for it. It just gets better and better, honestly. Like, do they sound different at all to you? Uh, no, I don't think so. I mean, significantly quieter versus no can, and then having a can, obviously. But um, I, I didn't hear a difference between the rounds. I even kind of spaced it out to see, like, okay. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. All right, John, go for it. Sounds about the same. Very nice and quiet though. That is, that's pretty sweet. All right, let's rock it with the full size now. All right, now we got the CGS Group Mod 9 FS, their full size can. Gonna try it again, 357, first three rounds, and then 38 specials on the second set of three. Here we go. Super quiet there. Now for the 38s. Okay, so with the full size, I definitely noticed a difference. Um, it's not, again, it's not huge and significant, but it's enough that you can distinguish between the two. They're both super quiet with the full size can, um, but even more quiet with the 38 specials, the 125 grains and the full size can. Um, we got some stuff in store for later on in the video for this exact setup. I'm gonna add something here to the bottom and then we'll have uh, some nighttime fun. But uh, I'm gonna have Jade and John try it out, same thing, and uh, see what they think. All right, Jade's trying it out now. Go for it. Full size can, 357 is first. And now the 38s. Um, you just got in a groove and you were going. <laughs> it's weird, like behind the gun, I couldn't tell that much of a difference, but when I'm standing like towards the back, you could hear the difference. But right now shooting it, I didn't hear the difference. Gotcha, so behind the gun, couldn't tell, but recording from the side with the camera, you can hear it? Yes. Gotcha. All right, John, go for it. Yeah. 
That is so quiet. Did you notice the difference behind the gun? Nope, not at all. They all sounded the same. <laughs> it's, it's just so quiet. It's crazy. Now that our first rounds are out of the way, I wanted to quickly get this gun zeroed and then get right into drills. All right guys, now that we got the gun zeroed and dialed in, we're gonna run some drills for time. Uh, we tried to run the drills a couple times with the suppressor, however the shot timer wasn't picking anything up because it was so quiet. So we do have to run it without that. Um, if you pan over here, you're gonna check out what we have set up here on the range. We got the uh, paper target up close and then three steel targets at very distances all the way out just to 40 yards, nothing too crazy. But the drill we're gonna run first is gonna be two rounds on paper and then one round on each steel target. Um, that guy on the left, that's that mini A zone that from uh, TA target. So it's only about six inches wide. So this should be interesting. So again, two on paper, one round each steel target for a total of five rounds. And let's see what kind of times we can get with this uh, Henry Big Boy Model X. Here we go, stand by. Five shots, total time of 870. Had a little hiccup there, I didn't cycle the action all the way, so that's on me. But good time of 870. We'll go check out the hits and uh, see how we did. All right, guys, so my hits were in this 10 ring here and the nine ring here. These shots from before are uh, when we tried running it suppressed, but got them nice. I mean, obviously you wanna be in the A zone. It's even better if you're in the 10 ring or this uh, black circle. So it's only about six inches wide. So um, definitely digging the optic. Um, it's that primary arms, SLX prism, and we got the green ACSS reticle in there. It was super easy to pick up. Uh, we're about golden hour right now. So the optic, is, it's just really nice looking through it. Um, and I am stoked that I was able to hit that tiny little mini A zone target out there. But uh, 870, I'm gonna run it one more time and then I'm gonna have Jade and John try it out. All right, guys, time for me to beat is 870. Let's try it one more time. Here we go. Stand by. No. Whew. 762, but I did have a miss. We'll go check the uh, paper target and see where those hits were. All right, guys, so got one here, and then I was looking for the other one and noticed it's right here with this other guy. Heck yeah, so both A zone hits, and then miss on the uh, left guy. Um, I was just talking about how awesome the green ACSS is, but I did have it up a little too bright, and it took up the entire uh, little mini six inch target out there, so um, definitely something to look into when you're using it, but um, I'm digging it. Like this setup is super fun. Uh, I know you guys, are asking why a lever action and it's just fun something different like i've run so many ars and so many 2011s that we want to try some other stuff but uh, i'm digging it and with the ranger point precision uh, furniture to me it just gives it that modern look that i prefer so um, i'm gonna have jade try this drill now and see she, how she does all right jade ups now you ready yes uh question do you want me to go left to right or right to left uh, for the steel you can run it any order you choose go for it got it all right start the timer and on you Nice. What do we got time? Time, 10, 13. 10, 13, how many rounds? Uh, six. Sweet. Just one on the little guy. Let's go take a look at the hits. Okay. All right, show us the hits. All right, we got this guy in the nine that I just butchered, and then this guy in the seven. So, I mean, overall still good hits, but you got one A zone and then one uh, C zone. Yeah. How'd you feel about that little steel guy out there? Um, <laughs> forgot to, uh, Turn, down Turn the, the brightness down on the reticle, which definitely would, yeah, that's what caused that miss. But then I was like, oh yeah, it's right there. Um, definitely check your brightness, but otherwise it was a good drill, fun. All right, let's run it one more time. Cool. All right, time, 12.58. 1258. Yeah. Had a malfunction, but you got it cleared? Yes. All right, let's go check hits. Okay. All right, checking the hits. What do we got? We got one in the 10, and then another one on the line between 9 and 10. Nice. All A zone hits. Good stuff. Yep. Better with that dim brightness. <laughs> Overall, it's a good drill. Super fun. Recommend. All right, John, you ready? I'm ready. Two on paper, one on each still target. Go for it, bud. Stand by. Oh, 
can't even see that thing. Oh, there it is. Oh, got a load. Got a load. Nice. <laughs> Thirty eighty-five. Woohoo! <laughs> well, I couldn't even find the target. I was shooting way over there at the wrong thing. Getting a little dark. See if I can see that little guy even out can there. Can you see him? Yeah, you kind of can. I'm putting it like dead center of the camera right now. Yeah. I was aiming at that thing way out there on the left. I'm like, oh, wait a minute. That's not the target. <laughs> All right, let's go look at hits. All right, John, show us them hits. Look at that. Right here. Dead center in the X ring. Right here. You may take your time, but you get some accurate hits, man. <laughs> We zoom out of here. What'd you think of the drill? It's nice. It's fun. The gun's a lot of fun to shoot. So for all you guys watching this right now, it is getting really dark out here, but I'm using ISO on my camera. It's at 5,000 right now. That's why we all look like it's super bright and nice. But uh, And then John's trying to hit. So if I can get to focus. There you go. There's the target. Dead center. That little tiny mini A zone. But let's give it a whirl again, John. With my old eyes. <laughs> all right, John. Round two, here we go. Stand by. Use that weapon light if you need to, it's getting dark. Mm. 1330, that was a little better. <laughs> All right, let's go check the hits. All right, John, looks like you got two close hits again, one in that X ring, and then one in the 10 ring right next to it. So where are you holding when you're hitting those shots? Just holding center. Right <laughs> on there. Gun's super smooth, though. It's nice. Now, before we left the range, I wanted to practice some combat loads with this lever action. Um, you might remember from our last video with the 4570, combat loading was not as easy as the 4570 cartridge, did not want to see on its own consistently, and we would often get malfunctions. We ended up reloading into the gate and cycling the lever in that video, which sparked a ton of controversy from many keyboard commandos out there in the interwebs. Um, I'm happy to report though that with the 357 cartridge, you do not have this issue, and it is very easy to drop the round directly into the open chamber, cycle the lever action, and then go right into firing. Now I do have to say guys, there is something very satisfying about running that drill. Combat loading and cycling the lever takes me back to my old school Remington 870 pump action shotgun days when I was on patrol here in Las Vegas. Guys, if you were one of the patrol officers back in the day rocking an old school 870P, drop a comment down below. I just wanna hear from you guys. Now before we left the range guys, I wanted to do something that I don't think has ever been done before. At least I have not seen it. Um, I wanted to run this Henry 357 lever action suppressed and while using night vision. Um, I equipped our Surefire XVL2 IRC weapon light to the Picatinny rail section on the Ranger Point Precision M-Lock handguard. Doing this allowed me to have an infrared laser to use while aiming. I'm happy to say that this was way more fun than I thought it was going to be. All right guys, nobody's done this before. Lever action, suppressed, night vision, IR, let's do it. Oh my god, that target's far. Hey -oh. See if we hit that hundred. I don't think we're gonna hit that one. Oh! Hundred yards, night vision, lever action. Nice, 100 yards. What are you going for, John? 100 yards. 
Oh, nice. Another one. Lever action eye vision, what do you think? Pretty sweet. Thing's fun to shoot. Now, if you currently have a lever action, guys, I definitely think that you should take it out for some night vision fun. It was seriously some of the most fun that we've had in a long time. Okay, moving on though, for those of you that are like me and you are new to the lever action world, I definitely recommend picking one of these up. I personally enjoy the 357 Henry much more than the 4570 as it has very little recoil. And when we were shooting it suppressed, it was definitely hearing safe. The mechanics and manual of arms when running the Henry lever action just make for a really enjoyable shooting experience, in my opinion. Um, that coupled with the modernization of the platform by using the Ranger Point Precision Furniture make this entire setup a very desirable one, again, in my opinion. The last thing, guys, I want to talk about is the Primary Arms Prism Optic. Um, this one utilizes the ACSS Gemini Reticle, which actually illuminates in green for this particular model. Um, as you can see here, it is definitely a daylight bright green when pushed out all the way to full brightness. Um, I like the large field of view that you get with the Prism Optic, and you all know that the ACSS Reticle is my favorite. Guys, that's going to wrap up this video on our Henry Lever Action Setup, a really fun setup. Um, again, a big thank you to Henry Rifles, Ranger Point Precision, and Primary Arms. We we definitely appreciate their continued support with our channel. Guys, if you like the video, drop a comment down below, give us a thumbs up. Um, let us know what you did like, what you didn't like, what you would change. Uh, I'm curious to see who out there has similar tastes. Um, if you did like the video, again, give us a thumbs up down below because it helps out the channel. If you are new here, consider subscribing because we post new videos every week. If you want to support our content, please check out that Patreon link down below. Lastly, if you're interested in anything you guys saw in this video, um, you can check out the new website that we have. It's called QVOReviews.com. Um, there you're going to find various links to all the products that we use that we can't link here on YouTube as they do not allow us to. As always, guys, we appreciate you watching, and I'll see you in the next one.